The dilatometer test is a calibrated static deformation test. It is very useful for settlement prediction, lateral load analysis of piles, and undrained shear strength determinations. As the probe is pushed into the soil, tests are performed at typically 20 centimeter intervals. A load cell is used to measure thrust. The thrust is recorded when the probe reaches each test depth. The soil pushes the membrane against the blade, which turns on the buzzer. At the test depth, the probe is stopped and inflated with nitrogen gas. When the membrane lifts off, the buzzer stops and pressure is recorded as the A reading. Inflation is continued. When the membrane is extended 1.1 millimeters, an internal switch turns the buzzer on and that pressure is recorded as the B reading. The probe is a switch that is on when the soil presses the membrane against the sensing disc. Off when the membrane lifts off and on when the membrane distends 1.1 millimeters away from the sensing disc. Again at another test depth pressure is slowly increased until the A reading is measured. Continued pressurization extends the membrane until it is 1.1 millimeters away from the sensing disc and the B reading is measured. As the probe is slowly deflated, the membrane cavity fills with water. Poor water pressure pushes the membrane against the sensing disc, which turns the buzzer on, and the C reading is measured. In sands, the C reading measures hydrostatic pressure, while in clays, the C reading measures excess pore pressures. Before and after each sounding, the probe is calibrated for membrane resistance. Delta A is recorded and Delta B reading is recorded. Delta A is recorded and Delta B reading is recorded. With the auxiliary gauge, the probe can be inflated to a hundred bars. Caution should be used above 80 bars.